I talk with the host of the show, and let's just say this will be an interview I will always remember. You'll see why. Now that you have tested to see if you are ready to be on Idiot Test, or as host Ben Glebe would say, test if you are an idiot, we are ready for season two of the game show to kick off. So Ben himself joins me to talk about what is in store for us. Ben, let me first tell you that Idiot Test is a regular show we play in my household, and we get very competitive. Oh, really? I like that. I like that. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm just saying that I, I play. <laughs> No, no, you can tell that you're not that good at it. It's from talking to you for a few seconds. I'm not good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I always, uh, you know, I try to, to decide what I'm going to say. Because at the beginning of every show, you ask the contestants why they think they're not an idiot. And I always try to think what would be a good answer for you. But really, is there a good answer for you? Yeah, I mean, some answers are good. I had a couple that were good. We had, we had a mom that was juggling a job and, and a few kids, and that made her not an idiot, and I granted her that. I thought that was a pretty decent answer. We had a rocket scientist on that I felt like that, fair, that fairly qualifies you. But most answers are pretty stupid. I will grant you that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Idiot Test is basically just brain teasers that I almost say if you overthink them, you will, all, you will more than likely get them wrong. So, I mean... I mean, I don't know if I would look at it that way. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you're trying to, if you're implying that, like, the, the show is s simple or whatever. I think we have pretty clever tests. Well, yeah, no, they're very clever, but I always am saying, when I hear the answer, I think, oh, it was right there. I totally should have seen it, but I was, you know, definitely looking too deep into it. And I, I, I would definitely be that contestant that would be too nervous up there with the time ticking away. So who makes, like, a good contestant? for you no I mean it's not about me you know what I mean I don't even know what you mean by that I, for, I, it's it to me it's about making sure that the audience enjoys the show it's not I'm hosting it for my own self I'm mean, is that is that does it come off that way that I'm hosting it like <laughs> maybe to please a little myself? bit Ben maybe a little bit Ben no <laughs> no I That's think cool you, you definitely keep uh, the comedy going in between the the test and you definitely make everybody feel very comfortable Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's not even so much I'm trying to make people feel comfortable. I'm just trying to make it an entertaining show. And I hope that um, that people really get that, that the show is supposed to be entertaining and make you laugh. But it's really more about the brain puzzles. I mean, if it's if you're do you think I should tone down the comedy in, in future episodes? Because I'm, I'm trying to just make it really as engaging as possible. No, you know what? Uh, I think maybe your enthusiasm is definitely uh, at a good at a good level. <laughs> you know, I've gotten that a lot in my career that people say I'm too enthusiastic or whatever, and it comes <laughs> off weird. Um, that's cool. Yeah, sure. And but no, that that was a lot. Of, I'd say thank you so much. Um, that's but you know, it's not. It really just depends on how you interpret it, I guess. <laughs> oh, Can you also let me know? Uh, is this pasta whenever for breakfast? We're gonna start rolling. Um, whenever we're gonna roll, uh, let me know and we can we can do it. <laughs> I'll put on my my happy game face. You know, I'm a game show host, and let's make it really enjoyable. <laughs> I love this. And actually, Ben, like I said, we watch this show all the time in our household, and I always see that you tell the contestants as they're leaving mm. the uh, walk of shame. So tasty. <laughs> You always ask them to watch their step on their way out. So I'm, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. has somebody actually taken a spill on their way out? Is that why you always do a, a cautionary uh, reminder? Yeah. Some, somebody got severely, we actually had one contestant. He tripped very hard and was knocked into, I, it, was, it was as if he had a brain hemorrhage when he fell. And the, the shit, we're under severe lawsuits from it, actually. And when we started the interview, I'd prefer not to even discuss that on the air if we could. <laughs> Well, I love that uh, we're eat, seeing you eat breakfast, a whole different side of you. I mean, I know on your Twitter I've already seen you in a girl dance group and skiing. So mm -hmm. this, I'm getting a whole new uh, layer to you, Ben. Hold on just one second. I'm so sorry, Tina. Let me know whenever we're going to start the interview. I just got... <laughs> hold on just one second. My weed guy just texted me. He's going to be delivering some stuff. Are you a weed smoker, uh, Tina? Uh, not particularly. Is uh, is that what uh, you're doing this morning? Is that why maybe you're having breakfast right now? I'm starving. You want some? <laughs> you are so 
starving. Would you like some? Yes, very much. Could you ship that to Tucson? That would be awesome. It would be cold by the time it got there, and I thought that would be obvious. That would be obvious. So, Ben, I can't wait Tina, for idiot Tina, test. Tina, 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 quick, quick thing I'd like to say: April Fool's Day. Tina. April Fool's Day. I... <laughs> None I of this it. was real, Tina. I, I love you very much, and I thank you for watching the show. I was just being stupid because you have to mess with people on April Fools. No, that's the rule. Ben Glebe d doing an April Fools joke. That is my year. It has been made. That's my pleasure. Look, you are one of my favorites. You're you're very sweet, and we have. I, I saw your tweet, and you're a very nice person, and I think you're awesome, and I appreciate you watching the show, and I think everybody should watch the show if they don't hate me now. You if they don't I mean? hate you, no, Ben. Are the are the tests going to get a little bit harder this season? They are. They are indeed. We stepped everything up this season. We have made the tests more interesting and challenging. Hopefully, more clever. I helped to create some of the tests this year and, and was trying to involved I was involved in helping make them more impenetrable. The show's funnier and weirder and um, I don't eat omelets during the show this season, so that's a definite plus. We have some really interesting rivalries this year as well. We have bald people versus hairy people. We have um, models competing against each other, so obviously the score was very low on that episode. Um, we have Star Trek fans versus Star Wars fans and special effects in the episode. We have a dinosaur that makes a cameo in the episode, and that is for real true. A kid's episode, and they perform better than many adults, which is not surprising me because many grown-ups are pretty stupid. <laughs> well, like I said, I'm a huge fan of the show. My whole household loves thank it. You. I can't wait to see what this season has. And thank you for telling me you saw my tweet. Tweet me back, Ben. I will tweet back at you. Holla back at me, girl, will you? Holla back. Thank you, Ben, so much for joining <coughs> us. <laughs> Somebody get him some help. Someone get him some help. <laughs> Why is nobody helping me? I'm choking clearly on a tomato. On a tomato? How do you say it? Tomato. I don't know how you say it. Season two of Idiot Test premieres tonight on GSN. Test your knowledge and check it out. The Morning Blend will be right back.